to go forward, but does not invade my free will. I'm glad you asked. Here, <laughs> Here is how he does this. He makes the situation go ahead. behind you so bad go ahead. <laughs> that you feel like the best option for you is for you to go forward. All right. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Behind you, let's go. So bad, all right. Go with that it. in your free will thinking, yeah, go with it. you think <laughs> that the best option <laughs> for me <laughs> is for me to go forward. All right, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. And, and, and that's what he does for you. Yeah. And so here we have the children of Israel. <laughs> <laughs> when they look up, they hear storm. <laughs> they hear horses coming. <laughs> they look back. You know, they been on cloud now. They just been chilling. Mm -hmm. And they mess around and look. Mm. <laughs> you know what, y'all? That look like Pharaoh with his army coming. Right. Oh, yeah. So even though they still didn't quite understand, the situation behind them was so bad. No. So you got a choice now. They have a choice. Do I go back and surely face death? Right. <laughs> surely face, you, we thought it was bad before. Mm -hmm. But if this joker let us go, mm -hmm. and now we got to come back, mm -hmm. I can imagine the cleaning that's going to go on now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I can imagine mm -hmm. the food we're going to get now. Mm -hmm. I can imagine how this joker getting ready to put it to us. We always say, you know, once you get out of something, you come back. The devil gonna get seven of his friends All right. and bring them back to you. Yes. Well, can you imagine you being in slavery? Can you imagine slavery being seven times worse? Oh, hmm. I'm just trying to paint the picture for you of how they look behind them and it was so bad behind them that they only thought the only the best option for them was to go forward. Go and that's how God does us sometimes. Yes. Sometimes he so bad that you choose, yeah, he's not God. All right. You choose to go forward. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> All right. See, because watch this. The Bible says that it's impossible to please God without faith. Mm -hmm. Where faith goes forward. That's right. Mm -hmm. So faith goes forward. That looks around. Mm -hmm. Back in my day. Before I became a sold out Christian, you know, I do a lot, I used to do a lot of looking around. Because <laughs> what I did, I, I needed to make sure I could get away with it. Uh -huh. I, I wasn't sure I could pull it off every time. Oh, yeah. but, but, but I had to look around to make sure there was no cameras. I had to make sure that I could get around. So sometimes I doubted what I could get away with. I had some big orders I needed to fill. <laughs> oh, Lord. Indeed. And, and so, I had to look around to make sure I could get away with this. I had to plan my escape route just in case I had to run. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Right. Unbelief turns back. So what God wants from you, what he takes from you, is your chance to have unbelief. And so even though you have doubt, you still go forward. <laughs> and so watch this. But you have to remember, we talked about this earlier, the thing that you have to remember is that God's glory is more important than your relief. Go ahead mm -hmm. with it. That's right. Amen. Let me say that again. God's glory is more important Amen. than your relief. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so in other words, it's all about the glory of God. That's right. <laughs> and just because you caught between a rock and a hard place does not mean that God's glory has to go below your relief. Go ahead. So he's not just going to do it to you. Hmm. And so watch this. As they got ready to go forward, Moses said, he looked at Moses, and my question to you, then why are you thinking here? Who really was in between the rock and the hard place? Was it Moses? Or was it the children of Israel? Because hmm. technically, if you ask me as a leader, it was Moses. <laughs> If you ask you 
as a child of this following the leader, you would say it's the children of Israel. <laughs> but to me, it was Moses. Because he had some ungrateful folks. He had some whining folks. He had some folks that questioned everything he did. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. So if you ask me, now I'm just giving you my opinion. It was Moses. But as he was going forward, this is what I need you to remember. That sometimes, you know, the Bible says that God said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell them folks to move. <laughs> Tell them to go forward. Look, no, no, don't come to me with this mess. Uh -huh. And what you have to remember sometimes is that in the midst of your prayer, uh -huh. in the midst of you trying to get an answer, God sometimes will tell you to stop praying to move. Sometimes he's going to tell you, stop. Hey, go. Get up off your knees. Go All right. Right. Get up off your knees, and I already told you what to do. Go Amen. Amen. You But sometimes you got to just move and don't take it wrong when God tells you to get up. Amen. Go forward. Get up. I've already given you the directions. Mm -hmm. All right. So you mean to tell me if God looks at me as a go forward and that's all he gives me? That he's giving me direction? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm telling you. Because guess what? You don't need to know the details of the plan. All you need to know is that there's a plan in action. So sometimes he's going to tell you to get up. Stop praying. Stop talking about it. Go with it. Be about it. Do so. You say you love me. All right. You say you trust me. Go with it. Stop. 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 You say so. Just get up. Yes, God. Amen. Get up. I don't need all that. As Beyonce would say, you must not know about me. Okay. That's what he's asking. He's saying to yourself, you, 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 you must not know about me. Do, do, do you know about me? The book of Colton Yeah. He said, you, you must not know about me. Say it. Then I was going to go to old Fantasia. I said, free yourself. <laughs> And, and, and as the young folks would say, by Nick, Nick Minaj, she would say, he would say, right by my side. He would say, I'm right by your side. All right. Mm. Well, as Rihanna would say, well, you would be saying, where have you been? He said, I've been right here all the time. Go in. Mm. Work it out. Yeah. <laughs> as they would say, I'm going to give you one more, I'm going to move on. As they would say, as Drake would say, take care. From J. Cole. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> mm. that's, right. but that's what you gotta ask yourself. Right. Mm. Loud and clear. <laughs> and then here we go. So we said, know your circumstances. And then we say, know that God forces that's you right. to go forwards. Yes, and the third thing, and we still got our secrets on, because we still hurt before we help. And so from that standpoint, the next thing that God, if you're coming out of your, if you're crying out, help me, and, and you're between this rock and a hard place, the next thing that you have to do, ah, say help me. I need somebody to just say help me. Help, help me. Come between the rock and the hard place. I'm caught between the rock and the hard place. For you. Uh, the next thing that you have to do, uh, if you're coming out between that rock and a hard place, uh, the next thing that you have to do uh, is you have to stop mumbling under your breath. Oh, oh, mm. oh, oh. Let me let that sit there for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Sit there for a minute. Yeah. Say it. Look at your yeah. neighbor. Yeah. Yeah. I've been mumbling. I've been mumbling. I've been mumbling. Look at your neighbor. And say, I've been mumbling. I've been mumbling. <laughs> what it was for me to say when I said mumbling. And, and so, as we go forward, stop mumbling under your breath. Hmm. What does it 
mean to be mumbling under your breath? <laughs> See, because sometimes we get bold enough to talk out loud. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, yeah. so, so that's when you really think you're doing something. Right. <laughs> when you really get loud and start to, to saying crazy stuff. But that's not what God worries about. See, because you know what? Folks can look at you and you can pretty much control what you say around folks. And see, so you're not killing, you're not being a stumbling block for somebody's growth. But God wants you to stop mumbling under your breath. Amen. It's those thoughts that you have when you think nobody's listening to you. Ah, watch this. And you say, I still don't quite understand. The children of Israel said, you know what, Moses? What did we tell you? Didn't we tell you to leave us alone? We told you to leave us alone. There were no graves. And now you got us out here to kill us in the day. In the wilderness, pretty much. Mm. Mm. And we said, but I don't do that. I don't go that far. Mm, we don't. How many times as Christians have we said to our own self, how many times have we said, I can't believe I went out on faith like that. Mm. Mm, I'm going to turn around. <laughs> Let me turn on around. I, I can't believe God got me out here on Front Street like this. <clears throat> I, 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 I know this ain't what he did the plan was. This can't be right. How many times have we said stuff out loud? Mm. And not only that, how many times have we thought about and, and said this? If I could do it all over again, I sure wouldn't do that. Mm. Now, I'm not talking about the mistakes that you made. Watch this. I'm not talking about when you were wrong. Because guess what? If God didn't tell you to do it, I'm not talking about those times. Because guess what? You are right to say those. I'm talking about when you know it was God and God told you to do it. And you still said, I can't believe I'm out here on faith like this. Amen. Watch this. Here's what I need you to know. Sometimes when we complain, about stuff. When we complain, do you know sometimes you become the rock in the whole place <laughs> for somebody else? That's right. Mm. <laughs> do you realize that? Sometimes That's right. you change it from being your rock in the whole place to now you've included somebody else and now you are rock in the whole place for them. Mm. I, I don't know how many times that my brother have came to me and said, I'm going through this, brother. Man, you just put me, you put me in between the rock and the almonds, but I was doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> but now you got me in this. So when you're complaining about stuff, you have to be careful that you don't become somebody's rock and a hard place. Because I don't know which one is worse, the rock or the hard place. <laughs> See, I don't know which one is worse. Mm. And so, watch this. But we've got to be careful with those thoughts, though. But here's what God told them. If we keep going down, God said, stay in steel. Mm. He said, first of all, go back. First thing he had Moses to say to them is fear not. Mm. Then he said, stand still. What do you stand in steel? What does stand in steel really mean? It says, be firm. How sure are you? How much confidence do you have that God is fighting your battles? How confident are you? Then it says, see that the Lord will fight your battles. But when you're scared, that means nothing. Ooh. That's why you're mumbling. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You're not mumbling because you want to talk. Now. You're mumbling because you're scared. Amen. Mm -hmm. We talked about that fear book. Mm -hmm. and, and folks say all the time, you know, God didn't give me the spirit of fear. <laughs> but I don't. Yeah. I don't give, God don't give me the spirit of fear. Who gave it to you then? Mm hmm. But watch this. Just because God did not give it to you does not mean that fear is not around. Because guess what? Fear has been around since Adam and Eve. Yeah. Amen. 
Because they didn't hear that. Why are you hiding? I fear. Mm -hmm. So fear has been around. So it's one of the devil's tricks. Amen. And folks say that fear is false advertising, appearing real. Yeah. When you scared, what appears to be real to you is real. Yeah. Because that's what, pre what we say, baby. Perception is reality. Yes. And so therefore, if I feel like I'm scared, I'm scared. Yeah. But the reason you mumble is because you're scared. That's right. <laughs> and somebody says, nah, 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 nah. Mm. Huh. It is. <laughs> yeah. I hide, like you said. But that's why we mumble. Go ahead. Because we want everybody to know. And so you mumble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You seen folks that mumble? They got some lovely faces. <laughs> yeah. Talk about it in prayer. Mm. Read the tea. Mm -hmm. All kinds of stuff. But they see. That's why you mumble. But watch this. See, because here's what you have to remember. The thing that fear does, it causes you to distort the truth. <laughs> Let me say that again. Fear causes you to distort the truth. Because when these crazy folks said, <laughs> It was better for us to stay in Egypt. Oh, You're right. <laughs> Wait a minute. So you mean to tell me you would much you would have rather been a slave than take a chance on being free? Because if he did nothing else for them, he had freed them. That's right. If I had to wander around in the wilderness the rest of my life, go ahead, tell it. I was free to do what I wanted to do. That's right. 